What's good with Monday Night Movement? Jay Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. Well, different location but same show. Don't worry. So, we're going to be pulling out another uh, blog post of mine this week and we're going to expand on that to the best of our abilities, of course. And after that, on to the objection of the week. Okay? I just, uh, I just got reacquainted with this blog post of mine uh, about yesterday, okay? as of this recording, okay? It's entitled, The Exclusive Club Mentality. Okay? Now, for those of you who have been, uh, who have been familiar with my blog for some time now, or who have been followers of the blog since 2015, okay? I'm sure you remember this blog. Now, here's the backstory on it. <clears throat> Me and a former Willem Life colleague of mine uh, bumped into each other at a fast food restaurant dun na sa Lamasa ng Pasita. Okay? Usual pleasantries. Okay? While we were waiting for our, while we while we were waiting in line for, for our turns to order. Okay? Usual pleasantries. The usual amenities. Okay? At that point, medyo nakalata ako na siya. Okay, so, so I asked her, um, what's your, uh, what, what's your business now? Okay, I was already into network marketing. I went back into network marketing at the time, and she was still with Philip. Now, she answered my question with another question. Okay, ang tanong niya. Pwede mo kumingin ng pera sa'yo, Jason? Now, I'm not JJ Ramos at the time yet, okay? So, Jason ang tawag sa akin ng mga, mga, colleague, mga colleagues ko. Pwede mo kumingin ng pera sa'yo, Jason? I said, ha? Huh? At that point in time, that was 2015, okay? Uh, a few days before I wrote the actual blog post. Okay? That was a few days before I act... I wrote the actual blog post. I've been disconnected with Philam Life for uh, since probably 20, probably 2004, 2005. So that's a good 10 years. <laughs> okay, that's a good 10 years. But I graciously told her this. Mare, because I'm a little bit older. Mare. Hindi pwede. Now she asked me why. And I graciously answered her, You're not part of my team. You're not part of my team. So why should I... Why should I bother giving you referrals? E magkaiba na tayo ng kumpanya. Although I am into network marketing. I've been back into network marketing at that time. E she's into field sales kasi uh, film life siya. So that's what I told her. Okay. Then we went our separate ways. We went our separate ways. I never saw her again, actually. So, more or less, on, more or less on there is this: do, do not let other people pick your brain for free. Okay. That incident or that adventure was my very first experience in uh, on not to. Mom's, mommy's calling me. On, uh, it's, my first, it's actually my first lesson on how to put my foot down. Okay. I look back at it now, I felt it was the right decision to make. Because right there and then, okay, I had the, uh, in the immortal words of WWE legend Mick Foley, testicular fortitude. Okay. At that moment, I developed the testicular fortitude to do so. Okay. I would not let uh, other network marketers or even direct sellers uh, pick my brain for free these days. I wouldn't let them do that. Why? Because well, unless you're a member of my team, of my group, 
pagka-grupo kita, okay? if you're under my direct group, or if you're a client of mine, sure. Okay, sure. I will give you referrals. And it's also a way of protecting uh, your contacts from, well, from salesmen or marketers that that use uh, high pressure or underhanded sales tactics you know what you guys know what I mean if you're if you're into sales right now so you're in a way you're also protecting your contacts of uh, such practices as much as possible if you are to give someone referrals they should be a member of your group uh, excuse me they should also be a member or they could also be one of your client base, okay? a member of your client base. At least you're you already know what kind of uh, what kind of prospect they can be. So, pwede mo na ibigay. You can uh, pwede mo nang i-refer yung mga mga contacts mo sa kanila. All right? That's that's one of the biggest lessons I have learned. Okay? Maintain an exclusive club mentality always. Always, at all times. Well, now that we're over and done with that, on to the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. Probably the best hand sanitizer I have ever used. Head on over to the link below. Click that to order and use my promo code Money and Life 10. You probably see it right now in the subtitles. Okay. Remember the code Money and Life 10. Okay. It's in the, it's in the, uh, it's in the subtitles and also in the link in the description. Purpose of that code? Well, 10% off lang naman. <laughs> You get 10% off your order of this or any other any other product of Little Warrior. Okay? So remember, remember this one, okay? Spartan hats. Use code Money and Life 10 for 10% off. Order na. Okay, oh, good. Okay. So the sponsors are done. Huh? Let's talk about the objection of the week, shall we? This is only a quick one. The objection of the week is the contact information objective. Okay. Objective. Sorry. <laughs> objection. Okay. That's what I call it. The contact info objection. Here's how it goes. <clears throat> For example, 
you got a prospect and you're um, presenting your the, it's a regular sales conversation back and forth you're trying your trial closing he has objections he or she has objections then suddenly the prospect asks you for your personal information you think it's not an it's not an objection <laughs> rookie ka nga. it's still an objection now first time i encountered this so during my first uh, my first few months with a magazine subscription company in the mid 90s it was actually my first field sales job okay, so ang era namin nun was binyang Rosa. As far north as Alabang and as far south as uh, Santa Cruz, Laguna. Okay? Ganun ang, <laughs> ganun ang mag area namin nun. But we travel in either pairs or threes. But in, the, in this particular adventure, it was a... We were, we were three. We were three people in the team. Yung dalawang kasama ko, Yung dalawang kasama ko noon, we were, ano eh, we were already talking to a hardware store. Okay? Yung owner, kausap ng dalawa. Yung dalawa kong kasama. Now, para may magawa naman ako, inalokan ko naman yung isang, yung isang sales lady niya. Okay? Yung isang sales lady. So, I tried, nakita ko yung, well, I was a rookie then. I was a rookie then. So, teachers are more important to me, and everybody is a prospect to me. Okay? Ganyan ang, ganyan ang mga, bagong, mga bagongan sa sales eh. Everybody's a prospect and the features are most important. <laughs> so, pinisent ko. Tapos, tanong, tanong ko sa kanya, please? Oo kasi nga, magsusubscribe na ako. Okay, so, ayun ang balang niya sa akin eh, ganito. Ah, pwede mo mahingi yung ano mo, yung uh, contact number mo. Sabi ko, bakit? Kasi I want to be friends with you muna eh. Yan ang sagot niya. <clears throat> eh, the biggest thing on my mind back then was to make a sale. Okay? I was already probably 10 days in. Wala pa akong benta. I need to have an icebreaker. Yung ginagawag namin. I needed to have an icebreaker. So, well, bilang baguhan, I just walked away from the transaction. <laughs> I just walked away from the transaction. If I went back, if I went back, if I look, I look back, I look back at it now, I would have done it differently. Okay? Instead of walking away, I would have struck a deal. Here's, here's the kind of deal that I would strike when someone asks for my personal information. Miss. Sige, bigay ko sa inyo yung, ano ko, yung phone number ko. Pero, may kapalit. Okay? If you give me at least three of your friends' numbers, sige, I'll give you mine. Now, for, do, for that kind of uh, response, first and foremost, you have to remove yourself from the scene. Okay? This is what I've learned over the years, even in network marketing. Step number one always is to remove yourself from the transaction. So, okay lang. Kung hindi niya tatanggapin yung, ano, yung, yung deal mo para makuha niya yung, para makuha niya yung personal info mo. It's okay. Am I right? <laughs> yes or yes? Malati Harpecker yun. Now, here's the thing about uh, being in field sales. Okay? You should always have a business contact info. Business contact number. Okay? Yun ang ibibigay ninyo. Do not, okay? I repeat, do not give your personal number to anybody. Most especially the prospect. 
It's for your own safety. Trust me. So that's about it. Okay? That's about it. That's the object that's the objection for this week. If you find if you found value in this, well, let me know by hitting let me know by hitting the comments section. Okay? Leave your comments there. Now, if you find absolute value in my channel, well, you know the drill. Yeah. Hit my logo to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. Hindi naman ang gagawin niya. Doing that drill, okay? Doing that drill puts you in the loop when it comes to my channel and keeps you there. And Daniel. Thank you guys for watching and all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Maraming salamat, Money Life Movement.